consumes me. My tears are for my lost husband, who promised once to return, yet I wait still. I'm not of whom you speak. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, maybe I, I can figure out how to help her. Who are you that haunts this place? I am Life Vera was the name I bore. If I cannot help you, I cannot help you, spirit. If I can, I will return. Well, let's see what happens if I say something mean. No, nothing. Mm, one more time. There's a way to help her, and I totally forget what it is. It might be something we can't do for a while. Oh, did I just identify that? Ah, the bottle carries the ghost touch enchantment, which allows pieces of the ethereal plane to be held within it. What the container's original purpose was is unknown, but you have no idea what Kyle, Hire, Red, or you would do with such a thing. What will we do with this ghost touch bottle? I think I know what we'll end up doing with it. Save our game since it keeps crashing on us. I'm here, duty call. Let's talk to this guy, see if he has anything else to say. Getting a little worried about the performance here. Slowing down sometimes, kind of like now. Seems she's waiting for her husband. Oh. Do you know who that might be? Fisherman named O'Donovan. Lost himself in a storm on Merid Walden. Drowned himself, most like. I see, so his dog body never turned up. No, not that I heard. By most reckoning, he drowned. Probably had one too many tankards, and with the rough weather on the lake during the storms, well, you can guess what happened. What about his ship? There's wrecks scattered across the bed of Meyer Dwalden, and pieces of them wash up now and again. If you knew the name of the ship, mayhap a piece turned up somewhere. Who would know the name of the ship? Go hard, the barkeep down at the salty dog would most likely know the name. Okay, so we have reason to go back down there. He has no piece of ships hanging from the rafters of the dog, he does. Then I might go see Gohar then. Okay, I don't need to rest. Let me tell him I identified the bottle. It's a ghost touch bottle. There's only water inside, only the bottle itself is enchanted. That damn priest, I know it was worthless. Well, thanks for your efforts. Do you know who might be interested in it? Well, perhaps Lady... I think that's Ulbrecht's wife. Actually, we already went to a great deal of trouble to get it identified. Some gold would make the trouble worthwhile, eh? Mm hmm hmm Well, now you offered to take a look at it, didn't you? If I'd known that you wanted to be paid, that'd be a whole different matter. Well, then, who knows? We'll just hide the ghost touch bottle somewhere in the inn. Who knows? Maybe it attracts ghosts and undead. Hmm, Mr. Evil. All right, here you go. we got some gold. A uh, hundred gold. Yeah, that's a good, good extortion right there. <laughs> Successfully used our evil powers. <clears throat> if I were a paladin, I'm pretty sure I would not be allowed to do that. <laughs> Saving the game. Trade Depot. I can buy stuff here, apparently. Probably mostly non-magical stuff. Come on, get in the door. I am on it. Okay, nothing to steal. No containers to highlight. I think this is the chick who I buy from Deirdre. What is this place? Galloway's, I've heard that name around Luskin and Bremen. I guess it's a famous training family or something, but I don't give a shit. Okay, so here we go. Uh, sell that. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, 
Okay, we don't want to sell any of those. Sell gem. <coughs> Might as well sell that. Masterwork dagger. Don't really have much of a need for it. All right, I uh, got myself some gold now. Masterwork battle axe. Plus one to hit. Memories of Kaldahar. What's that? Huh. Maybe uh, Mao could use that. We'll have to think about that, though. Well, these plus one weapons are really expensive. Damn. Black chimes. What's that? A flail? Mm. Yep, that's a flail. Okay. Throwing daggers. Returning throwing hammer. I wonder if they have any returning throwing axes. Masterwork Longsword. Heart of Adolf Hitler. Hmm. No, this is actually something for Joseph Stalin, not Hitler. One cold resistance, damage type slashing. Uh, too expensive for me, though. Is it magical? Yeah, I think it's magical. I mean, for purposes of determining whether you can hit whoever you're trying to hit. Was oh, this a two-handed sword? Yep, two-handed sword. Chainmail armor. We can use some chainmail, I tell you. Um, this might be good for Mao. Oh, we'll eventually carry tower shield. In fact, let's go ahead and buy one right now for uh, for Joseph Stalin. Flank of the Virgin, what's that? Dexterity plus one bonus. Not bad, but probably won't need that. Armor class increases to 15. And we'll eventually get him a magical longsword. I'm not going to buy a bunch right now, because if I remember right, there's a lot of stuff lying around, and I'm still probably going to find some good stuff. Maybe some better armor. But if I me. don't, then I'll buy a set of chain mail or two. That's your dexterity. Plus three is your bonus, so chain mail is not good for you to wear. Probably a chain shirt is what you should be wearing. I can't get over here, can I? I was not clicking on the path. It's over here. This prologue is actually pretty long. Ooh, stuff. See, I got myself a large shield and a spear. So I don't have to buy anybody a large shield. I can just give you a large shield. Armor class 18. Go me. What does this do? 2d8 fire damage to a single opponent. That works for me, y'all. Uh. Uh, why don't you carry that? That's going to be very nice to have. What's a teamster's house? The door has been nailed shut and will not reopen. Teamster, eh? I didn't know this town had unions. Hurr, <laughs> get it! Ugh. I think this is Lord Ulbricht's house. In which case, we'll get some plot development here. Saving game. Boy, these game saves are taking a long time. Companion, oh, I hope this game doesn't get bogged down like my last Let's Play did. You? We just sailed in if on you're one of the mercenary companies, then your place is at the docks, not here. I've received word we're under attack, and every sword is needed at the cliffs. Come to join Targos Defenders. Whoever you are, if you want to serve Targos, then you'd best have brought me word of what's happening at the docks. Rumors are flying through the streets, and the people are in a panic. I need information, and I need it now. Goblins were attacking, but we drove them off. 
That's the first piece of good news I've heard since these raids began. I want more than commendation. I want money, buddy. To be commended for your efforts in Targos defense. I would ask you to excuse my rudeness when you first arrived. These goblin raids have been chipping away at my patience, and they could not have come at a worse time. I need to know how these goblins were able to reach the docks without being detected. There was no warning from the Palisades, and they were not sighted passing through the main town. There's a nest in the... in a warren of caves in the Targos Cliffs. It looks like goblin sappers were able to tunnel up into one of the warehouses and stage a surprise Damn attack. It. I ordered those caves in not long after we drove the smugglers from Mayor Dwalden. But it seems those goblins sniffed them out anyway. They won't try that tactic again. What concerns me is that sapping takes time, even if they were able to break into the old smuggler tunnels. That kind of effort takes planning, and it means the goblins had to be kept focused for weeks, perhaps months. These raiders are more organized than I suspected. What can you tell us of the goblin threat? As you no doubt already know, a force of goblins has gathered in the region, and they have been testing our defenses. They are well armed and well organized. Their attack on the docks is proof of this. At when first, they first it was appear. just a few raiders, a stray arrow over our walls in the night. Then a merchant caravan from Bremen was attacked on its way to Targos. I sent two of my best scouts out to track down the attackers. But they could not find the goblin encampment. Then a band of goblin raiders attacked the walls of Targos itself. An act almost unheard of. We drove them off, but there were casualties. And the attack has forced me to take measures to strengthen Targos' defenses. Hmm, what kind of measures? I've sent out calls for mercenaries from Luskin and Neverwinter, and arranged for lumber to be shipped from Lonelywood. Lonelywood's a town in, uh, docks and in the town first game zone. expansion pack? What do you need the wood for? I ordered the construction of a palisade and several small catapults outside the town, supervised by the commander of the Targos Guard, Shawford Crail. What was the response from Luskin and Neverwinter? All Winter? Luskin did was post notices for adventurers, <clears throat> for they saw little gain in coming to aid us. Neverwinter has pledged to send forces, but it will be some time before they arrive. Your watch commander is building up a perimeter wall against the yes. goblins? You'll report to him for your orders and your wages. Time is short, and there is much to be done. Your station will be at the Palisades beyond the North Gate. I will send the Gate Guard instructions to let you pass. Very well, but time is short. Uh, what happened to the scouts? Anelia and Braston, two of my best scouts. They've been gone for almost a ten day without a word. And I'm worried that they may have run across the goblins. Still, they've survived worse, so I hold out hope for their success. Uh, can you tell me anything else about the Goblin Raiders? No, a force of goblins has gathered in the region, and they have been testing our defenses. They are well armed and well organized. Their attack on the docks is proof of this. Any more word on no those word reinforcements? Yet on when they will arrive, but a force is on their way. Until then, we'll have to deal with the goblins as best we can. Okay, we've got our orders. Let's go to our journal here. Uh, told us we could find Shawford Crail. That's our... That's who we've got to go to next. But before that... What? If you wish it. Let's find, um... This dude's wife, who's back here somewhere. Ask her about the scroll. Here she is. I have a scroll that I took from one of the goblin sappers. Could you identify it for me? Oh, pfft, you're going to charge me, bitch. Oh, well. Expended teleportation scroll. I should get that service for free, damn it. It's not fair. All right, let's see what she has. It shall be done. Oops. What? All right. She has magical stuff. Can we tell me what this brimstone scroll might have been used for? Did I already ask her that? Looks like a spell was miscast. A teleportation spell, perhaps. This scroll is one of a pair. Seems that it can be used to teleport a group 
be someone holding the other scroll, provided the wheeler knows something of spellcraft, which means that some wizard teleported the goblins into the cave beneath the docks. 